So I am about to drive this Rally 2 car around this Mexican stage 50 times to see if I can get into the top 100 on the leaderboard. But why Mexico Mikey? You've never done a video there. Well for me it may just be the hardest location within WRC and the fact that I have never got on too well there it makes it the perfect challenge to push me to get faster. Now this stage itself nearly made me go bald with stress as 60% of the runs I didn't even manage to get one kilometre into the stage before dumping myself into a barrier or straight off a cliff. So grab yourself a drink, sit back and watch as I make Mexico my new personal playground. Now, the first few runs definitely set the tone for what I was about to experience for the next few hours. With me managed to perform the same accident for four runs straight. Now they do say doing the same action over and over again expecting different results is the first sign of madness, but I'm pretty sure I hit insanity during the last 50 runs video. If you missed it then make sure you go check it out straight after this video. It did take me a few runs, but finally run five or maybe six or even seven. At this point I had already lost the will to continue but I managed to not only get past the first kilometre or so but I did set a time coming in with a 4 minute 17.8 putting me just outside the top 250 which is a damn sight better than what I managed on the tarmac stage last week. Even with that run being set and sitting 27 seconds behind first in the world and only about 7 seconds away from the top 100 I headed back to the drawing board to fine tune my setup. And for those who are wondering what was wrong with the setup, well, the oversteer was making the car feel like it could go from a rally car to a fidget spinner in about 0.2 seconds, so that oversteer I needed to be sorted. So with the fine adjustments done, I headed straight back out to the stage and on the very next run, I did start to think to myself, well, goddamn, this is gonna be one short video. Even though I was still making progress, I still made it my personal goal to hit every single rock and barrier I could find. But I did find myself 1.8 seconds up on my previous run with about 2.4 kilometers left, only to make sure I hit a rock in a way that would definitely end my run. And then the crash restart process began. Between runs 9 and 20, they all ended in crashes, with some of these being some of the biggest crashes I have ever suffered in this game. But I did find myself starting to remember the corners and planning the best way to take them. On run 21, I got it right in the places that mattered and set myself a time of 4 minute 12 with a theoretical best of 4 minute 11. So there was definitely time to be found. Even though I fully knew that I was leaving lots of times out there, I was just happy to set an improved time because believe me when I say 20 runs so far, I had only finished two of them. But that did put me 156th in the world. With plenty of runs to go, I felt that I could fully achieve the goal I set well before the 50th run. As with the last time I managed to set, I messed around with the settle, just to get a little bit more stability in the car and make it turn in that little bit better. But maybe learning to actually drive would have done better for me because over the next six runs, guess what? I had six crashes, mainly my fault, asking too much of the car or just not paying attention to my inputs causing instability within the car. But that is nothing to worry about as on run 28 I set another improved time. That time was good enough to take seconds out of my previous best time, coming in with a 4 minute 9.4, 3.4 seconds I had managed to improve by as I was sure that would be enough to be in the top 100. So did I do it? Well, no. 100 second was my place for now, but I still was not worried. I knew I had another 4 or 5 seconds in me, so again, some setup changes and I went back to it. But, as with all the videos I make, the following runs absolutely destroyed any confidence I had in myself or the car, and I contemplated just leaving it where I was. 100 second is still good, right? Either way, I took a step away, took a walk around the block, came back and... Yeah, nothing much had changed. Still crashing into everything, but that did not stop me. I managed to hook it up quite nicely on run 35. With this stage, the first and third sectors are where you can gain most of your time on the run. So all I had to do was keep it together into that very tricky last corner, which for some reason felt like no matter how much I broke or steered, I couldn't get the car to turn in. But now I am just moaning for no reason. So I said a four minute 8.6, 1.2 seconds ahead, now that definitely had to have put me in the top 100, and it did, 
ranked 94, but I wasn't satisfied, as I still left so much time out there, so I restarted again, and the next two runs didn't go to plan with this crash here, and then this crash there, but I was still determined to extract that little more time out of myself, if anything, 1.2 to 1.5 seconds, and I could happily leave it right there. So run 38 comes along, and I am going to leave you with the run, and I will be back in a few short moments. Next, so down three left, Titans, 60. Caution, six left short, slowing, 30. One left, and square right, Titans, 40. Over bridge, turn one left, 50. Crest, into slight right, Titan square, 30. Crest into turn square left. 70. Left over crest. 60. Slowing. Crest into slight right over crest. And turn two right. Short. 50. Three left. Titans. 50. Crest. Sudden one left. And late full right. And six left. Into six right. And right over crest, into three right short, into two left, and crest, and late square right over bridge, into four left short, 80. Square right, long, over bridge, and three left short, and turn acute here for left. Into four right, open as and tightens, and three left. Half long, open six, 60, one right short, 50. Four right, into crest, 30. Four left, into slight right over crest, long tightens. Into slight left, double caution, and right over crest, into one left short, and three right short, over crest, and right over crest, 50, here pin left. Slight right, into five left, don't cut, water splash, and slight left, into four right over crest, half long, into crest, 40, five right, five left, over bridge, and hairpin right, 40, six left over crest, 40, five left over crest, 30, square left, 60, one right over crest, and late hairpin left, opens, 30. Six left. Slowing into six right and three right short and six right long into crest and two left sharp into six left and six right into two left sharp over crest 40. Three right short into left over crest 40. Four right sharp into left over crest 80. Three left short, over crest, sudden square right, into slight left, 100, over finish, twisty, to stop. And I did it, a 4 minute 5.7. Not only did I get that 1.5 seconds I was looking for, but I absolutely smashed it out the park. Just short of 3 seconds I took out of my last time, putting me in a solid 58th in the world. Now that will do me for this challenge, I am more than happy with that. Maybe I will come back to it, as I can still definitely be faster than that. So with all that being said, here is the setup I use. As always, feel free to use it and beat me. If you have a stage that you would like me to take on, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel, it really does help me out more than you know. And it is completely free. And until the next time, I will see you all very, very soon.